$800 has been charged to your account to renew your membership to Shining Finger. Jill's subscription got renewed. She'll have no problem focusing at work today. What's the difference between being focused and not focused? Some dialogue differences, maybe? Will we ever actually get to see Shining Fingered? I'd love to see it. <laughs> Happy not birthday! That's a Alice Rabbit thing. You really like that website, huh? I have needs. <laughs> well, today is December 16, Friday. Today, we should probably read the news because the Harbingers said that they were gonna strike today or was it tomorrow? You wouldn't believe the shocking Kiramiki secret! Today, we'll take a look at one of the most popular acts of our times. How did she get started? What's her favorite movie? What about her romantic life? Don't miss this exclusive interview, only on the Augmented Eye. You've gotta be kidding me. It's a local page for fuck's sake. What do they want though? They don't even want money. Alice Rabbit might be a Kiramiki fan, and who isn't? Everybody loves Kiramiki, and Alice Rabbit is no exception. You might be wondering what's my proof for this, whoa, not so wacky theory. And well, keep reading if you want to know. Attack patterns. This is an easy one. You just, I'm getting tired of you. I'm getting tired of your shit, Miss Smithy. They're messing with forces they can't grasp, or it's a ruse. Wow. One person or multiple people, or just someone who doesn't like being known as a Kiramiki fan. Crime rate up 5% this month. That's a lot. Officially making the road to Mega Christmas a dangerous one. White Knights, aware of the situation, have promised to maintain security in all sectors, even though recent budget cuts have been decreasing the morale of their personnel. An uphill battle. Poverty and the lack of opportunities are no longer the main causes of crime. Criminals come from all walks of life. They will murder and distribute drugs for no reason other than the fact that it gives them power. It's no longer about feeding their families, it's about domination. There are entire sectors controlled by these dangerous gangs and there's no solution in sight. Really? People become criminals because they want power? No reason other than power. It could be worse. God forbid things get under control here. Damn, can we move? Can we? I don't know. Uh, this is the same stuff, right? Yeah, I think so. Eh, she might not update her blog every day. And neither does the message board. Okay. Well, we have $4,000. We just paid the Shining Fingered subscription. It seems like we don't actually pay rent. So I wonder if I should just like buy a bunch of random stuff. Maybe the tea to begin with? Because I kind of want to see if it changes our bartending menus. What would change the bartending menu anyway? Vintage gaming. Joker Cyclone. Fans. Paper Lantern. <laughs> Beer on discount. The owner is trying to quit drinking, so he's selling them dirt cheap. <laughs> that sounds like something I could be interested in. For those days when you've built up too much tension. A thousand dollars of beer? And... Treat yourself. Yeah, okay. Maybe we'll hold off on that for now. That's a lot. Okay. Cool, thank you. Let's go to work. Friday. Do I work every single day of the week? Good evening. Hello. Seems you made it just in time. What was that sound? I think that's just a car backfiring. Really? It sounded more like a gunshot to me. Oh god. Whoa, is that how much money the bar has? But I never get to touch it? Have you ever heard gunshots? Haven't we all at some point? Yeah, well... See? Sounds more like a car's exhaust. I don't know, it's too dry. Jillian? Gillian? Okay, before recording, I looked at the poll from the last video, and... Between Gil or Jill, few more people seem to want me to say Gil. 
And I really just mean a few more because the results were like 55 against 45. I really do think it's supposed to be Gil, but then the, the Dorothy thing was just a little bit confusing. Anyway. Yeah, but gunshots give more echo. What if it's a firecracker? Ah, oh, boss. Firecrackers? Yup. A couple of years ago, there was an incident where some dude killed a cop. <laughs> that feels like it's something that should happen every day here. He managed to slip away because his pistol was mixed up with the usual Mega Christmas firecrackers. Nah, it sounded too hollow for firecrackers. Well, whatever. This is not a morning talk show. I'm not paying you to chit-chat about meaningless things. At least not amongst yourselves. Right. We shouldn't lose time over a car's exhaust. Hey! Heh. <laughs> do 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 do. Okay, I don't remember which ones I like, but I remember which one I don't like. I don't like this one. <laughs> this one doesn't really fit the whole chill bar thing. It's the really chaotic, noisy one. And then the rest of this? I don't even know- Hey, is that new? Hey, there might be new ones here. Mm, I don't really remember which ones we've heard and not. <laughs> Neo Avatar? Yeah. Hmm. Re snowfall. Which city? Why not? Time to mix drinks and change lives. By the way, I never clicked around here, but maybe. Mmm, but we can change the channel by clicking on this. Cool. <laughs> wow, that was great timing. Welcome to Valhalla. Hello, I'm looking for some information. Are you a human? What kind of information? What can you tell me about a girl nicknamed Crimson Rose? Sounds like a tacky online handle. It's better than being named after a watermelon. Although tacky online handle is a bit redundant. Ouch. Do you know anything about her? Nope, sorry. I have $80 here that might refresh your memory. I, I really don't remember. <laughs> now that you mention it, I remember something. Really? Yeah. Now I'm totally sure that I have no idea whatsoever who you're talking about. Nothing at all? Nothing. Man, you're a sucky bartender. Not having any info I need. Well, first of all, why assume I just happen to have the info you conveniently need? Does that girl frequent this place? Is there any proof that I might have the info you so desperately need? Well, I... And second, you're not gonna get anywhere by offering me physical money. In fact, what are you doing with physical money? Do you want to get mugged so badly? Oh, this whole time, have we been doing digital transfers? I guess so. Yeah, well... Moreover, even if I did know something, do you really think $80 is enough? That's right, I get like $100 tips on each drink. You can do almost nothing with $80. It's not enough to have a decent lunch. Why are you scolding me? Why did you call me a sucky bartender for not conveniently having the info you need? I... Wait... Of course! You want all deals to be clean, so you need me to spend money on the bar! Psst, you're welcome to spend money if you want. That's how it works, right? I spend money, you give me the info. This guy sounds a bit... Is he trying to like emulate a movie or something? Maybe, maybe not. Okay then, get me a drink, but keep it under $80. <laughs> $80? Let's see what kind of drink you can buy with that. You can't even get a beer with $80. Seriously. Gut punch. Anything else? No, that's probably it. You know, we're a high-class, high-end bar. We only sell the most expensive drinks. What if I make it a big one? 
I don't know. I think maybe my mission for today. I haven't really tried getting people super drunk yet, right? So I'm thinking, hey, if it says optional Karmo Trine, what if we just dump a whole bunch in? Especially because this guy currently doesn't feel like a person that I would feel bad about getting drunk. <laughs> Is he gonna die? I hope not. <laughs> It's supposed to mean a punch made of innards. Yes, gut punch. Better, manly, strong. Fit for a man like you. Here. Okay then, do you know anything about the girl? No. But you said... Maybe, maybe not. Turns out that it's maybe not. You were the one deluding yourself into thinking I might know something. Yeah, if you say you want a drink, I'm not gonna stop you because it's my job, and I want tips. Did you even give me tips? And like I said, $80 is nothing. So, I need to spend more? I'll give you some intel. Spend all the money you want, but I know nothing, and no amount will change that. Can I at least get my money back? No! Why? The order is right, isn't it? I guess. So, why are you looking for that girl, Mr... Vondelay. Art Vondelay. Art Vondelay? I'm trying to figure out if that's like a pun or something. I'm a private detective. It's what I do. What? You sound so unaware, though. So, I'll assume you're either looking for a missing girl, or working for a creepy online stalker. You're assuming the girl I'm looking for is innocent or lost. She's not? She's half of the so-called Reapers of the city. Two guns for hire that work for whoever's resourceful enough to find them and wealthy enough to pay them. Crimson Rose and Cobalt Lily, they call themselves. More red things? But not the red comet. Eh, they still sound more like teenagers' internet nicknames. No, teenagers' nicknames would be more like XX Super Sniper XX, you know? Not enough X's and underscores. So, who wanted you to track her? I don't know. I got the letter with the instructions and a paycheck. What if it's a prank? I have the money, so what do I care if it is? <laughs> how much money did you get? I'm just kinda curious how much $80 is to you. Besides, Considering the amount I was able to cash in with that check, it'll be a pretty wasteful prank. So more than $80 then, and you're paying me $80. Which is like nothing. I see. Still, any information or rumors you can give me? They don't have to be related to the girl. Why do you need them? It's always good to keep up with local goings-ons. I'm gonna keep the track title here, just to uh, see which ones we like. Well, let's see. Hmm. Sorry, can't think about anything right now. Most of the conversations you hear in here aren't rumor-worthy. Humor-worthy, maybe. But not much about current events. At least, not beyond what you see on the news. Damn it. What kind of bar is this if you can't gather the word on the street? What kind of film noir world do you think you live in? Gil might know something if you're so fixated on finding some kind of information. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Do you know something that might help me, Gil? I don't. I certainly don't, and I'm offended by the suggestion that I do. He knows something. <laughs> on second thought, maybe it's better if you don't get involved with him. <sighs> well, this has been a major waste of time. And here I thought, all the noise BTC bars I've made lately would be useful for something. Noise? What noise? You don't know? I'm asking for a reason. You'll find out soon enough, don't worry. How ominous. In any case, I guess I'll have another drink and leave. What can I get you? I'll have a grizzly temple. Simple enough. I tried getting him drunk, but I don't know if it worked. Grizzly Temple. 
I wonder if he wants information that I didn't get. It's really hard for me to tell, and actually, it's impossible for me to tell how the conversations differ between what kind of drinks I serve and how much alcohol content I'm giving my clients here. So maybe if I did something else differently before this, then I could have given some information to this guy. Oh, hold on. Why don't we make it big? He didn't give me a price restriction this time. <laughs> One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Boom. Wow, that's a huge drink. There you go. 220. Here. Okay, then. This is gonna be deducted from the $80 from earlier, right? No. Fine. Come on, there has to be something. This week has been slow as hell. The only good thing I've heard is about this girl who threw herself off the roof of a nearby mall. Good thing. Good thing. And the whole thing about a woman catching her midair makes me think it's totally made up. Aside from the rumors that the Harbingers are looking to cause trouble at a bank today, no, not really. Damn it. Wait, who told you that? It appeared on the news, didn't it? Yeah, but the name The Harbingers wasn't used. Oh! Donovan told us, right? No Glitch City outlet has reported that themselves. There are rumors that someone or something is keeping them silent. The government. And even the international outlets aren't using the name The Harbingers. They're avoiding acknowledging the organization yet for some reason. So you're either one of them, or somebody in the know told you about it. Wow, he can be surprisingly sharp. That's pretty sharp, yeah. But it sounds like you have more information than I do. Yeah, Donovan D. Dawson was in here for the last three days, actually. Really? I wonder if he'll notice the glass that Idol signed. I mean, sure. I can't think of anything that would be useful involving him right now, but... Guess not. Did he talk about anything interesting? Interviewing the idol that had a show a couple of days ago, dealing with messy interns. It's pretty funny because when Donovan was here, he's like, hey, can you give me any gossip? And I'm like, no. But this random detective guy is actually able to get information out of me. Is it gossip worthy? I don't know, but we're talking pretty freely. Par for the course, I guess. I see, I see. That's... Gunshot. It's a backfire. Firecrackers! Hey, what do you think that sound just now was? Sounded like something very heavy being dropped. Something heavy? Come on, that's not even close! It was definitely more like an explosion of some kind. No, you could clearly hear the clashing of metal. Something that was both made out of metal and very heavy fell down. That's what made the sound. Well, whatever it is, it's not normal for it to be repeating so often. Oh, I'm a little bit worried about Say and the bank. I wonder if something's happening. Well, if it is, we should be seeing it on the news. Ugh, we watch, we protect. No, thank you. Alice Rabbit? I'd buy that for a dollar. Yeah, okay. We'll have a nice pleasant one. Just... a random girl, okay? I heard there were some gang spats going on. Maybe they took the conflict here. Which means gunshots. If that's the case, I just hope they don't come too near us. Well, I've gotta go. Seems coming here wasn't a waste of time after all. Really? I just have different needs, but there will come a time when this place might help me. Goodbye. Please, come again. Well, he was kind of annoying, but not too unpleasant, I guess. Gangs, then? Unlikely. This is unicorn territory. 
They've always been a neutral and important third party in other gangs' deals. Unicorn. Of course, Gillian would know. The who what now? <sighs> I'll just pretend I heard nothing. Thank you. He left me thinking about the whole noise from BTC bars thing. What's up with that? I think I heard something about money laundering through bars. Don't take my word for it, though. I see. I guess I'll find out soon enough. Welcome. Oh my god, what is. Oh no. <laughs> what is happening? Are we, are we being streamed right now? Is this Nico Nico Doga? Anime was a mistake. Uh, I'm sure many people watching this are probably already familiar, but if you're not, this kind of like comment moving style is really common on a Japanese video site called Nico Nico Doga. I'm streaming Chan, giving you a live video feed of my life and adventures 24 7. Bathroom time and naughty moments only available to premium users. It's only $99.99 a month. Go premium now! Smash that subscribe and like button. Um. It's Friday night, and you all know what that means. It's time for streaming Chan's escapades! <sighs> Earlier, you saw a whole bunch of eight scroll by. In Japanese internet slang, that means clapping. Because eight is pronounced hachi, and clapping is pachi, so it's like pachi pachi pachi. Like that. <laughs> Today's escapade is brought to you by ShiningFinger.moe. Oh god. Leaders of VR adult entertainment since 2069. Buy a year of premium membership and you'll get a code. Exchange the code for a free trial of a VR experience, modeled after yours truly. Woo! <laughs> Excuse. Today, I picked the shoddiest, nastiest, smelliest, ugliest bar I could find downtown. And sadly, it actually looks half decent inside. So much for going to a crap hole bar that smells like dog urine. Oh, you're a little bit too late for that. <laughs> Excuse me. But no matter! Tonight, I'll give you an escape you'll never forget. You know, I always wonder about these kind of streamers, but do they ever ask? the stores and the places for permission before filming? I feel like they need to, right? Like, you just come in here shoving a camera in my face? I never asked to be on camera. Hey, you! Where's the bartender? You're talking to her. Very funny. Where is he, really? Oh, so you're sexist, too. Right in front of you. Hey, you! The pretty boy over there! Where's the bartender? You're looking at him. <laughs> no way! No hot shirtless guys playing with fire and serving drinks while flirting with you? No sexy, scantily clad girl jiggling around the place? Sorry, I'm a little bit ill-equipped for that kind of physics. You're telling me you two dress like fucking waiters are the bartenders here? Yup. Seems that way. This girl's annoying. Can she get out already? <laughs> Is that a problem? Of course it's a problem! Friday nights are peak viewing hours! Are they? In my experience, I'm not sure about that. I feel like everyone's out on Friday night. Oh, but you're out on Friday night right now. I need something sexy or enticing to keep them interested. Oh, I just noticed. She has different colored eyes. Hmm. And I'm not sure what this logo is. Pure? Oh, maybe it's like a sponsorship. Oh well, there's an easy solution to that. There is? Yeah, just take your top off. You might need to take off your bra too, depending on how the traffic goes. Wait, you're quite flat. Do you even use a bra? WWW is LOL in Japanese. Internet slang. Is that piercing glare a no? 
come on! One of us is gonna have to take off their top, and it ain't gonna be me. I already did that once today. Ah! And it's too late to go somewhere else! By the time I find an even nastier bar, they'll be closed. What's your policy on wearing pants? Somebody tried to have me fired for wearing a skirt, so we deal with that on a case-by-case -case basis. That's not a concrete answer. I need binary yes-no answers. My viewers have the attention span of fruit flies. So do you. If they wanted to use their brains, do you think they'd watch something like this? Good point. I need to keep them entertained, and the fact that you still have your shirt on isn't helping. Wait, I know! Give me a drink! A big one! The nastiest one you can think of! Um, hello? Service here, please! Wow, it's like my brain shut down. Sure. <laughs> Come on, get the comments away. God, nasty drink. Manly and promo drinks are both nasty, but that's my opinion. What about... what about that, like... Oh, okay, if we get Mulan tea, we can just serve it here. I mean, a fedora with a perfume and a plum? Isn't that kind of nasty? Is it? I... I don't know. We'll check the price. They want a big one, right? Or are all these big? I don't know. Manly and promo. Can the comments please stop scrolling by? Oh my gosh. Manly promo. Actually, manly and promo are separate categories, so we can't get one that's both. Hey, how about we try to get her like super drunk? She's not even drunk right now and she's already like this. <laughs> Not in the right column. Got punch again? This one's pretty cheap though. Pile driver. Let's get the most expensive one. Mars blast. Sobering. No. Bloom light. It's so unnecessarily brown. Spicy promo bland. Uh, that might not be nasty enough. Yeah, four of each ingredient. None of these are optional caramel shrine. I can't really get anybody drunk. But I guess I'll do a bloom light. Why not? And then we'll double it, right? This one already has Carmo Trine, so maybe that's gonna be enough to, um, you know, get her hyper or something. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. And then one. Yo. Yeah. This has, like, everything. It's bland, though. I don't know if she'll like it. Here. Alright then, cheers! I don't think you should chug it down so... ...quickly. Oh, oh, it's like it hit me, but I didn't feel it until a few seconds later. Is this what being kicked in the balls feels like? Yup. Okay, I've decided. I'll just get really wasted. Fuck yeah! That's gotta be fun enough, right? If you say so. You know, I'd really like to talk to this girl when she's not streaming. Because I feel like based on what she's saying right now, there's a chance that she's actually really depressed underneath all of this. <laughs> okay, in the meantime, what can you tell me about this bar? What do you mean? Weird stories, fun stuff, interesting facts. You're being seen by an average of 6,000 people. Make their time worth it. Yeah, when she says stuff like that, Makes me feel like she's really feeling that pressure of being, having to be entertaining. Which is something that yours truly feels as well. Let's see then. 
Last weekend, we held a party for the Safar Toy Company. And? It's a company run completely by dogs. Really? This place was completely overrun by corgis. Wait, 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 wait. Corgis? I don't get that. Are you saying the corgis are like sentient and stuff? Did you really serve drinks to corgis? Tuxedo clad talking corgis, yeah. Talking corgis. Wow, awesome! Wait, you're not shitting me, right? I wish I was shitting you, trust me. Nope, instead the corgis were shitting on the bar. What else, what else? Um, let's see. Donovan D. Dawson from the Augmented Eye was here for three nights in a row. That perfume chauvinistic bastard? Huh, there's that word again. Well, yeah, we know how much of a pig he is already. <laughs> Just the other day, someone from the Augmented Eye interviewed me, actually. What do they ask? What's your name, by the way? Oh, the usual bullshit. Who I was, what I did, future plans, inspirations. The one that interviewed me was a small, meek girl with glasses. Kim. She seemed a bit bitter, though. I wonder why. But enough about that. Wait. Can I see that glass over there? Hmm? Sure. <gasps> the signature. Is this Kira Miki's autograph? Yeah. She came here before her last concert. Get out! Really? Is this some kind of a secret hidden bar of the stars or something? Not really. We're just in the right place at the right time. What kind of person is she when she's not on stage? I've tried to get a meeting with her, and she actually seemed willing, but she's always busy. A very nice girl, actually. She seems to be completely invested in her work. She loves what she does, and it shows. You think she'd be some sort of a diva, but as far as I'm concerned, she's one of the nicest people I've met. One of the more normal ones, too. I knew it! I knew she was nice! Her passion shows in her concerts, you know? She's so spontaneous! Her performances are never the same. Every time she sings Shine Spark, I feel like my soul is warming up like a high-performance computer! Shine Spark! I'm tired, can you leave? <laughs> I find myself singing it in the shower all the time. And those who pay premium can hear me sing every day at $99.99 a month. Go premium now! That aside, I was about to call bullshit on what you said. But I guess you do have some sort of proof for everything. Can I keep this glass? No? Get out of here. Pretty please? No. Party pooper. At least this bar might be more interesting than I initially thought. The one thing that'll make it perfect is if Pretty Boy over there had a pass with a KGB. Uh. Who told. Yeah, that'd be crazy, huh? <laughs> Not even gonna ask. Are you gonna order anything else? What? Oh, yeah, yeah. The whole getting wasted thing. I heard of a drink called a bad touch. Get me a big one of those, please. A big bad touch. <sighs> Coming right up. Wait, <laughs> why is Joe laughing? A big bad touch. You know, it might be more interesting to see what she is like if she's sobered up. But I've missed my chance now. Can you calm down, girl? I'm tired already. <laughs> That's ten. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two, three, four. Mixed. We're nothing but mammals after all. Sour, classy, vintage. Oh. Oh, it's mixed, not blended. Excuse me. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On the rocks. Here. I was expecting something dirtier. We have olive brine. I can pour in a bit if that's what you want. No, not that. With such a dirty name, it feels like the drink ought to come in a phallic glass or be this thick white liquid. That would have skyrocketed the watchers at least threefold. Don't you have anything like that? Nope. Ah, <sighs> I'll have to make do with the condensed milk when I get home. <sighs> Damn girl, your life sounds tough. I'm not being sarcastic. Friendly reminder that today's escapade is brought to you by ShiningFinger.moe. Leaders of VR Adult Entertainment since 2069. Buy a year of premium membership for a neat code. Said code will net you a free trial of a VR experience with a model based on moi. What's the deal with that VR experience? Hey, you might be interested, Jill. You know, cause... Shining Vanguard. Well, a fan made a NND model of me. Oh, <laughs> like MMD? But NND. <laughs> When Shining Fingered asked me about a model for our partnership, I just contacted him. Mm. MMD is like what people use to make those weird anime animations. <laughs> anime animations? Anime character animations? Like the Vocaloid stuff. He got money for polishing a model a lot more. I got my partnership. We all won! I even got him a year of free premium membership and a VR set. That's nice. Wait, what's an ND? <laughs> Don't tell me you haven't heard of Niku Niku Dance. I asked for a reason. It's... well, it's music videos with 3D models. Yeah, the whole Vocaloid stuff. Yeah, that sounds like a good enough explanation. I see. To be honest, though, the model is a bit... meatier than me. Not that I mind it, though, considering the use it gets. <clears throat> you know, I was expecting you to be more scared when I said that you're being watched by a lot of people. It's hard to be scared when you can't see these people. But they're still there, you know? Sure, they're behind screens and sometimes in the opposite corner of the world. But every single one of my viewers is a real person with a real life. Um... Hmm... You're not wrong, but I'm getting the impression that you're saying this to appeal to your viewers. Not being here doesn't make them any less real. I understand, but it's just not the same. They're not here, visibly paying attention to me. I don't get paranoid because of my phone contacts. That's true, I guess. This girl might be really paranoid, you know, because of the whole being entertaining, keeping up the viewership. So, tell me, what made a lady like you become a bartender? It's not exactly an exciting story. Does it involve a man? No. Probably involves a woman, actually, <laughs> my boss. What about a crime? Nope. A childhood promise? Nah. A religious vow? A what? You're not gonna tell me that you just decided out of the blue to quit your job and start bartending. You're assuming that I quit a job to be a bartender. That's actually what happened, sorta. Oh, come on! No epiphany? Quarter-life crisis? Not even hot teacher somewhere along the line? <clears throat> oh. Oh. Might have hit the nail on the head there. <laughs> Life isn't always a young adult novel where every decision is a road cone. 
And that's a problem. One third of my audience are teens that shouldn't be allowed to watch my streams. Throw me a bone here. There must be a nice mystical story that you can tell about yourself, Miss Bartender. Well... Yes? Sometime after I started working, I got an interesting client. He was a DRKS0L. Dark Soul? A really old little model. Apparently, his power supply was running low. His charger was destroyed, and he didn't have the money to buy upgrades or replacements. He also seems to have neglected his maintenance. He was from the time when the collective source was on a cloud storage system. So he wouldn't be uploaded there once his body ran out of energy. Keep going. It was weird, you know? He was the only Lilum I've seen with a clear-cut fear of mortality. No transcendence for him. He would disappear once his batteries ran out. Oh, that's so sad. People like Dorothy or Mickey. Mmm, battery. I guess they have like a charging thing, but not the older models. It's like knowing you'll vanish while everyone else passes on to heaven, he said. Oh, man. I guess he felt bad about burdening someone else with his problems. So he went and gave me a fingertip of his that fell while we were talking. Oh. Before he left, he said, If you remember me, maybe a part of me will transcend. Oh. Wow. It's like that saying, every person dies twice. The first is when your physical body passes away. And the second is when your name is spoken for the last time. Um... Bravo! Bravo! Touching! Full of feeling! Completely awesome! And completely ruined by you. Had paid to see a movie like that. So, what happened to that finger? I made a pendant out of it. I carry it with me at all times. Oh, that's actually really sweet, Jill. Even while bathing? Almost all times. Now that I think about it, how do you handle the stream if you want to watch a movie or something? I have a plugin that lays mosaic censorship over what I watch on TV or in the theater. <laughs> That's not what I meant, but okay. I see. I'm talking about your personal life. What do you do when you want to be off? I'm not talking about you potentially getting copyright issues because you're streaming a movie. Okay, this is getting stale. I'm gonna have to heat this up even if I have to do it myself. We need to drop a cow in here. Miss Bartender, get me drunk. I don't care how, just do it. Okay. Get her drunk no matter what. Oh, do I really want to do that though? It seems kind of... I don't know, man. I kind of worry for this girl, too. She does not seem okay. How about just something with optional Carmotrine? Or the most expensive thing with optional Carmotrine? 170? 140? 170? Fluffy Dream. Sour Girly Soft. 9 Carmotrine. Actually, this would be pretty insane, right? Strong. Yeah, okay. I mean, if you want. It, I'll give it to you. The biggest fringe weaver this thing can even make. Oh, I didn't friggin'. Oh, okay. I thought I got it wrong, but it's right. Here you go. Soap? Lightheadedness. Clumsy tongue. Palm sweaty, knees weak, arm spaghetti. <laughs> Can't feel my legs. Can't feel my legs. <laughs> All right, let's get it on with the lewd stuff. First, I'll try to guess your bus size. I must warn you, I have a 90% success rate with this. I know I said I wanted to get people drunk, but not like this. I kind of feel bad. I feel like maybe I shouldn't have done that.
Hmm, I'd say... B. Not big enough to fill a hand, but not small enough to make you look like a child. You're a size B, right? I'm not discussing my bust. Oh, don't be like that. I can tell you're B cup. Your attitude makes me think you're an S. And your behavior makes me think your blood type is AB. <laughs> That's a Japanese thing as well. The theory that personality is based on your blood type. So, how many did I get right? Oh, can I go back to the previous conversation? Oh, yes, yes, we can. Yeah, S is sadistic, like S and M. Who knows? Ah! Please let me get on with this. I need you to cooperate if this is gonna be a success. Can I ask something? Finally! What's the point of getting drunk if you're gonna behave the same way? Oh. <laughs> I guess it is kind of redundant. Because you see, I'm drunk 24 7. Huh? Knowing people want to do me. <laughs> Freud and slip. Knowing people want to watch me do anything and everything. Seeing the viewer count steadily raise as I take more and more risks and become more adventurous. It's a feeling that neither alcohol nor sex can compare to. Speaking of sex, if I get lucky tonight, you only need to pay $99.99 to see what happens afterwards. Oh my god, do you stream that too? Go premium or go home! Um, do you really get lucky if the other person knows they're being streamed? And I guess I never asked this, but you're not carrying a laptop or a computer with you. How are you streaming this? Is it the necklace here? Or is it your eyes? Well, it shouldn't be her eyes, right? Because if she's the one getting drunk, I think her viewers would want to see her. So I'm just kind of wondering where the camera is. You'd be surprised by how many are actually turned on by that. How do you deal with people who don't want their identities revealed? Everything's written here. By being captured by this camera, you hereby consent to the use of your face. <laughs> by existing, you consent. On all material produced by Streaming Chan LLC. I'm not sure how legal that is. People believe it is, and I've yet to be troubled by a lawyer. It's funny though, when you're on the street, unless it's somebody really hot, you can't recall their faces. But learn their name and suddenly they're a fucking snowflake that's better than all the rest. Oh, this is weird. I'm feeling sleepy. No, says people. You did ask me to get you drunk. Why is it weird? Because I haven't felt sleepy in quite some time. In fact, I've been sleep deprived for a while now. How long? A week. A week? Weeks are the ones with 30 days, right? Um... Yeah, I'm totally sleepy. I can feel my eyes getting heavier. And there's this weird lag when I try to move. What's up with that? Oh, it's just the internet connection. <laughs> Anyways, I think I'll take a little nap here before storming off and continu continuing the night. If you'll excuse me... <sighs> Should I call a cab? And risk waking her up? Leave her be. I'd rather break the rules and let her sleep than deal with her again. I'm gonna take my break now. It's been a while since I've needed a cigarette this badly. Alright. Okay, I'm actually gonna pause the music here for a second because... That whole section, first of all, it was very tiring looking at her, but second of all, I found it really depressing and sad. I think you can probably guess why I can relate to this, yeah? As a fellow person who is also uploading entertainment on the internet. 
obviously not to the same extent, but it's sad because I can recognize all the negative aspects of this whole hobby or profession, if it is your profession, your job. A lot of people, if they don't think too hard about it, is gonna say, oh, wow, you're just playing video games, you're just pointing a camera at yourself and you're making money off of that. That's so simple. You don't have to do any real work. And look, I'm not gonna argue that sitting in an air-conditioned room playing video games is more laborious than being at a construction site, building a house or whatever. But it's difficult in ways that probably people have a tough time imagining, unless if they've tried being in this position. And keep in mind that this is something coming from me, like I'm a nobody in the grand scheme of things. How do the people at the top deal with it? By far, most of the most difficult things about this whole thing is mental. Things like worrying about not being entertaining enough, or equating self-worth to the numbers you're getting, or dealing with the people that watch your stuff, whether they're nice or not nice. All these things, it's just... There is a reason why all the big YouTubers and streamers, you often hear about people needing therapy or having depression, because it's really... It's actually just insane. This kind of reminds me of a conversation we had the other night about how if you love something, then if you can do it as a job, you're going to be really happy. No, I'm going to tell you right now, this is not true. I think it's more likely that it'll suck the joy out of the thing you like, and then you end up not liking it anymore. Now you might be thinking, oh my god, does that mean that you hate video games? No, but... I think ever since I started doing this whole YouTube channel thing, my relationship with games is not the same anymore. It used to be something that I'd do to relax and have fun, and I still have fun with it, but I would argue that it's not relaxing anymore. Generally, recording myself talking while playing a game versus just playing a game is really different on the effort scale. And I'm not saying all this because I'm really depressed right now and I want you to feel bad for me, no, like, there's negatives, but there's also positives, right? But you can't have one without the other. And oftentimes, people only think about the positives. I have a lot of random thoughts that come up about this whole streaming slash uploading videos business that I don't really talk about because I don't have an outlet for it. But I do feel like it's the kind of thing that people are interested in hearing about, so I spent a little bit of time talking about it here. You know, working on the internet is still a very new industry and most people working this kind of job are probably fairly young so maybe in a decade or so i think that's when all the problems are really really gonna start to come out anyway streaming chan i'm really looking forward to when she wakes up because i'm hoping that she'll be more sober and maybe we'll have an actual conversation this time 